Happy to be Black girl for every rock. Um, oh, you guys, yeah. um, for me, Planet Rock, the Craft Park video, Woo. that was my first time seeing rock ever. There's one dude that stuck out to me the most, though, and ever since I heard his name, I've been wanting to, like, holler at OGs. His name is Eddie Ed. He's the brother that shot himself. And he does like a jerk, like back. It looks like a dance. Uh, I learned it's a black and white clip. Yeah, it's, it's a black and white clip. And he does this crazy jerk. I want to know, did you guys ever see Eddie Edge from back in the day? And you guys like breaking down like what happened to him? Yeah, Eddie Edge. Eddie Edge, the first time I seen Eddie Edge was in uh, Rock State Park on 89th Street, before the season four of Rock State Park. And uh, he used to hang out with. Uh, to hang out with uh, Ty Fly, uh, Frosty, T1, and a lot of, I mean, he, he was weird with it, but my first thing was dynamic, and then he rock steady, and uh, Frosty never trusted him, and, but he was always a good dancer, he was a good dancer. Um, I never got him personally, we just never, you know, we just, just never fronted each other, even though we're in the same places, like I said, out of respect or whatever. We just never went at each other. But yeah, it was really good. That split jerk is yeah. phenomenal. <laughs> I'll tell you right now, people fail to understand what you see Eddie Ed do and what you see like in the 80s, that style of rocking, it's a boom about days style of So people who don't understand, there's five point of origins. In the mic. In the mic. Okay. It is Manhattan. When you say Manhattan, you're talking about the lower east side of Spanish Harlem. Uh, whoever saw the movie, the documentary Star Wars, when the part where they when Rock City is in um, uh, USA, the guys rocking is not the initial guys rocking are not Rock City. They're the brothers from Queens, from the Queens rocking. And then you see, then you see Rock City dynamic go and they start rocking. But the, the first one with they doing dance and surf machine, that's uh, Queens rocking. Yeah. yeah. Drop a bomb right here. <laughs> Why they were rocking? Because when Mastermind and Dynamic first met at the USA Road and Skating Ring, two worlds collided. Bam! We battled and we said, what the fuck was that? And they were like, what the hell are you doing? Why are you cleaning the floor? Why are you going to battle emotions? And that was 88. We all switched the numbers. It came to Cooper Projects. They started teaching us how to do backspins and all that stuff. And that's why they were rocking. And that's how D-Boy came to Brooklyn on my side. The Cooper Projects. The dynamic of teaching the math of my box. I didn't want to learn it yet, because I was still stuck on floor box. That's the original floor. You know, I'm a late boomer, I'm 82. What know? year was that? Oh, that was uh, 79. 79, or 80. And I was still stuck on floor box. So 88 used to come to our neighborhood. Him, my uh, homies, Spider, and they used to come and teach us. You know, so I, I was interested. But now we were teaching them how to rock. Yes, they have their little tiny job, whatever. But we were teaching them how to rock. Burns and that's how it's supposed to be. That's my question. Last question. Last question. Everybody hold their hands. Two questions. Two questions. All right, we're going to go with my man. Move quick here. This is the last question. After him. And we're going to, okay, one more. One questions more. right now for the panel is just going to be one more with him. They're, they're here the rest of the weekend. If you got any questions, you go up to them and ask them yourself. Let's get to the battle. Him and then him. Right here. Let's get to the battle. You know what I'm saying? Let's show. 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 Let's show.